I am Dr. Vidya S, consultant anesthesiologist, practicing at Women's Center by Motherhood. Uh, I've got an experience of 16 years and I've been exclusively practicing obstetric anesthesia for the last six years. My special interest is palliative care management, pain management and labor analgesia. I'm going to talk on anesthesia for the lower segment caesarean section. Caesarean section, shortly called a C-section. It is the most frequently performed obstetric surgical procedure, mainly performed for the benefit of the mother, baby or for both of them. And there are many indications. The main indication is when there is failure in progress of labor, when patient has a history of previous LSCS or in case of a fetal distress. And this procedure can be performed under spinal anesthesia, epidural anesthesia, combined spinal, spinal ep combined spinal epidural anesthesia and general anesthesia. So spinal anesthesia is the most uh, most common uh, technique of choice uh, for lower segment caesarean section. So uh, this is called, also called a subarachnoid block. Here the anesthesiologist places a local anesthetic into the subarachnoid space. That space is filled with uh, CSF which bathes the nerves and prevents the transmission of the pain signals. Uh, Spinal anesthesia can be given to the patient either in the lateral position or in the sitting position. So in the lateral position, the patient is turned to one side, asked to bend the neck and bring the knees towards the chest. By doing so, the, the spinal space opens up and it is easy to perform the technique. Uh, it has many advantages. First thing is it's very easy to perform. It has a definitive endpoint and uh, it is predictable and high success rate. It produces a dense block. There is minimal transfer of drug through the placenta to the fetus. And even if there is a transfer, the fetal toxicity is very, very minimal. And also there is minimal risk of pulmonary aspiration in spinal anesthesia. The major advantage is mother is awake and uh, she can enjoy her encounter with the baby. Because of these advantages, it, is be, it has become the uh, anesthesia for lower segment caesarean section. Epidural anesthesia. So whenever a parturient asks for a labor analgesia during labor and such a patient comes for lower segment caesarean section, then you don't have to give her one more anesthesia. You just have to extend the block by giving the um, top up of local anesthetics through the epidural catheter which is already in situ. When combined spinal uh, epidural, we do consider only when we think the surgery is going to be prolonged for a long period of time where our spinal what we have given wears off and we can extend the block by using our epidural catheter which is already there and topping up with uh, local anesthetic in our epidural catheter. General anesthesia frequently, if you see in the past, it was the uh, technique of choice, but now it is completely replaced by regional anesthesia. General anesthesia is mainly indicated uh, in patients where our regional anesthesia fails and in conditions where you can't give regional anesthesia and when there, there is fetal distress. In fetal distress, we are not going to waste any time to position the patient and um, do the technique. Uh, uh, all obstetric patients, if you see, they are all having difficult airway. It is because of the anatomical and physiological, physiological changes that happens in the body um, due to pregnancy. Uh, in Because of which, if you go for general anesthesia, you should be ready to face a difficult airway and you should be ready with your uh, difficult airway algorithm and all the airway supplements which is necessary uh, in case there is difficult airway arises. Uh, these, and pulmonary aspiration risk is very, very high in pregnant women. So because of this reason, uh, general anesthesia is mainly considered the last, last resort when only when regional anesthesia fails or in case of a fetal distress. So these are the anesthesia techniques that is used for lower segment caesarean section.